No all right, mate. No worries. Do you want a picture of yourself? No, I'm talking. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm on a journey. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Um, so we're at Hereford, uh, county country bus station. I've been here many times with Paul, setting off on journeys and trips. And uh, we're off to meet Sandy, Wiltshire man. Should be a good trip. I'll see you in Gloucester. Peace. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Okay, so um, the last time I spoke to you guys was in Hereford Station. I said I'd see you in Gloucester, but in fact I didn't have enough time to get the camera out in Gloucester, so I went straight through to Swindon. But I'm here at Sandy's now, with Mandy as well. Here you go, there's Mandy as well, look. So we're here together, and the theme is togetherness. It's all about connection today. It's all about uh, fostering those goodwill uh, gestures and those... Wonderful thoughts that we like in life. All right. <laughs> second that. That's nice. Yeah. That's what Mark's given us a lovely. Yeah, a nice gift. Of the yeah. Wife, which That's is. Nice uh, is. I like that. The land between two rivers. The land between two rivers. But yeah. the thing is that that that's a picture. That's Paul's picture. Sandy is oh. one of his last pictures. That is. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Paul took the picture. Paul took the picture. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. So I I I said I brought a bit of Paul with me. Yeah, that's a nice picture, that. It is. Beautiful. It's that. one of his favourite areas, Sandy. Yeah. My finger. Right, so uh, that's 65 HRC. Is that good? That's very good. That's fully hard. You're happy with that? I'm, ec I'm, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> 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 A happy knife maker here, folks. Yeah, what I do, what I do now, Mark, is And it's a Warco. Yeah, Warco, yeah. A Warco. Warco, good drill press for the money. Yeah. We like to know what this kit is.
so it's not like a, a subtle little curve, you know? Yeah. And this is what I toes up inside there. I've got to go on for that now. So this is this is Sandy's son, Chris. Hello. How you doing, Chris? I'm good. Yeah, we're talk we're talking cosmic, aren't we, mate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Where did you get the bit from for the logo, Sandy? Uh, I got it, uh, but, but a company up in uh, Sheffield. Oh, I see. Well, it, that would make sense, Sheffield. Yeah. yeah. They actually. Uh, so what that. what we're doing, guys, is stamping the logo. Jack Law knives. It's not a jackal until he gets to stand. No. Why jackal, Sandy? What, where um, did that name come from? Well, Jack is my surname. Oh, I see. Uh, and law, country law, wood law, body of knowledge, field law. Got you. Got you. Body of knowledge, doesn't it? Got yeah. you. It's like a way. Do you know what I mean? Aha, here we are. Right, keep it there. There you go, guys. Jack law. And what what is that figure, Sandy? That's the Evanston White Horse. Oh, I see. That's right. It's a hill figure. And that's something that's fascinated you for some while. Yeah, it's a local uh, it's a local um, landmark. It is in Wiltshire. Yeah. Is it yeah. Right? yeah. It was made by the Beaker people. No, nah, it's not as old as that. How old do you think it was? It's probably about two and a half thousand years old. Right. So here we are. We have a long tradition here. Yeah, that's basically what it's saying. Yeah. Right to the core. There you go. Good on you, Sandy. So the next, nice thing is, next thing is to just do the back of it, eh? All right. And then get it ready for heat treat. Okay. Yeah. Hey, what's this stuff you're putting on here? This um, is anti-scale compound. Right. Oh, it sounds interesting. Anti-scale. Yeah. What does it do? When you uh, when when you put the, the 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 knife blank into the kiln, right, and you heat it up to a, a very high temperature, yeah, uh, the the carbon within the steel, right. is moving around quite vigorously. Okay. Um, and any carbon molecule, and any carbon atoms that are close to the surface of the steel will happily leave the steel uh, and combine with uh, an oxygen at an atom within the kiln. Oh. And so you end up with, um, you end up losing carbon from the blade basically. Oh I see, so that's and to prevent its escape. So this prevents it from happening, yeah. Oh, right. And it keeps the... Uh, keeps All the these techniques that have been evolved over years, huh? Yeah, yeah. Are we still in Wiltshire, Sandy? Are we still in Wiltshire? Just about, yeah. We are? Yeah. A Wiltshire, Berkshire border? Uh, Berkshire border is probably about five mile that way. Five mile, okay. Yeah. What's this village? Ashbury. Ashbury. Uh, I am a geek. And I'll tell you what I'm a geek for, and that is old gates. Gates? Yeah, old gates. Old posts, signposts and what have you. Just the gate, look at the gate, man. All that, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Try and, uh, That's seen some use. Uh, I'll try and delete some files. Shot if I can at some point. <laughs> you like Wiltshire then, Mr. White Explorer? I like Wiltshire. <laughs> yeah. This is the Ridgeway, guys. I'm on the Ridgeway. Would you Adam and Eve that? <laughs> Courtesy of Sandy, I'm on the Ridgeway. Yeah. Wow. I've walked it uh, successfully three times now. 85 miles, the central section, which is the main part of the Ridgeway. Yeah. It starts near Avebury, right? Which is an ancient near well, the big safe, site. Safe. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it goes on to Ivingo Beacon. Right, I see. That's about 80, 87 miles. Yeah. 87 miles of bliss or pain or both. Depends how fast you want to walk. <laughs> yeah, it depends on how fast you want to walk it, yeah. But it can be bliss. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely.
Look at this, people. A very old burial mound. Waylon Smithy. Waylon Smithy. It's named after the uh, Viking god or Waylon, I believe. Well, it certainly lets you know what life is about, Sandy, doesn't it? Yeah. That it's a circle, keeps on going, mate. Yeah. Look at that, in there, guys. What's the age of it, Sandy? 5,000. 5,000? I think so, yeah. Look at that, people. I didn't know we were coming here. Thanks for bringing me, Sandy. Yeah, I thought it was worth it. Yeah. Are you, are you camping in this glade? Uh, no, we camp here. Uh, Do you know where you're heading? No. <laughs> Alright, stealth camp then, guys. That's what it is. Find a spot and tuck in there, basically. Yeah, I've been walking for um, a good hour or so, hour and a quarter maybe, not fast, nice and slow, and um, we found this spot here. Uh, we both agreed that there's a bit of light from the mor in the morning maybe, uh, that's east facing that is. That's east over there, yeah. Uh, I thought that was east. Yeah, that's, uh, that's is it? Wow. Right. Right, okay. That'll be the sunrise. Correction, that'll be the sunrise. <laughs> this is a foreign land. <laughs> right, so we found our spot and it's a... Uh, it's west, westerly wind, generally the bales from this side. This is the cold side. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon then? It would, wouldn't it? Would, wouldn't it? Should we try for another yeah. spot? Yeah. That's it, Mark's uh, filming the lovely sunset. Indeed, sir. Look at that. It's one of the best sunsets I've seen in this kind of wet condition. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. There you go, I've got my snug pack here. And, uh, I always bring along my jungle blanket as well, because if it gets cold, I'll sling the jungle blanket over me. It will be warm enough, probably. Yeah, I would say I've got an extra layer in the jungle blanket, so well, that's what I've done. It's more like basher style. Yeah. Just like simple basher style with some simple stakes. I've put that stake there just to raise it in the middle. Should be cozy in there tonight. And uh, this is what Sand is doing. Really low profile. Yeah. Well, I kept this side open. Unfortunately, that's so the prevailing wind's going to come yeah. in a little bit. But yeah. I thought it would be sociable, I'd have a little bit up. Yeah, I know. I wasn't sleeping my head down this way. Yeah. But I'm on a slope. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, not too good. So I'm going to be sleeping my head up there. Yeah. But I might. I might. Whilst we're napping, I might have my head down here and then I'll yeah. go up that way for sleeping. Yeah, yeah, sure. Case. Yeah. Food. I am really happy to be here with Sandy. Sandy, I'm really happy to be here with you Good, today. I'm happy to be here with you too, Mark. Um, it's, uh, I, you know, I've been watching you for the past couple of years since I've been on YouTube, really. Yeah. And uh, I've admired your wisdom and your knowledge, and um, I've sought to um, reach out at some point. Yeah, yeah. You know, and things just unfold. They. Well, I've got a feeling that, you know, I think from here on in, I think we'll um, be doing a few more camps. We'll, we'll do it again, yeah. Time. Yeah. You know, you're welcome to watch me, so I know I'm welcome up to the Y. Oh, aye. Right. It's a good place, is the Y. Yeah. It sure is. Of course, 
Paul Outdoors knows this. Paul, if you're, if you're listening, I know you admire Sandy yourself. He does, yeah. And um, so thinking of you, okay? And, you yeah. know, we'll, we'll, we'll all come out one day, I reckon. But nice channel, he? he has got a very good channel, Paul. He seems to be a force for good, doesn't he? Oh, he is, yeah. He's a very bright guy. When you get in there, have a light down, you get yourself some grip. Yeah, food. Food is on the mind. Anyway, uh, Paul Outdoors channel, I'll put a link below. Uh, check him out, guys, and um, I think you'll enjoy what he has to say. Okay, peace. So yeah, this is what I've got, is um, pork stew. I just brought some uh, expedition food, LYO expedition food. This was from the River Earfon expedition, back in last October, back last October. So yeah, I'll put a link up to that, check it out, it's a really cool video. But I'm just going to boil some water and stick it in there and seal it up for seven minutes and I've got my meal. It's boiled already. Fuck's sake. I tell you what guys, this fuel is just full on. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm the water's already boiled. That took minutes. That took about three and a half, four minutes. I reckon that's the wrong fuel for these meth met burners, not. That's, that's what they gave me, uh, Sandy. I went in um, Trek It in Hereford, which is a top outdoor store. You told me it's for meth and alcohol. Sandy. I said for a Trangia. I said, you got any fuel for a Trangia? Uh, alcohol fuel. And this is what I was given. Beautiful place to wake up to, especially with shards of light like that. Let's go and take a look at Sandy. <laughs> Cozy. Morning, Sandy. Morning, Mark. How are you? All right there, bro. Pretty good. Did you sleep well, did you? I did. I didn't hear much noises last night. No, I... Why are you snoring or anything like that? Or resting on it? I'm not a snorer. Oh, yeah. Did I snore much? No, not a sound, mate. No. no. A perfect night in the woods. <laughs> I do often snore if I'm on my back. Oh, right. I, 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 I went onto my, the side, so on my side most, most of the time. The biggest noise was that X bed. It's noisy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a noisy little thing. It's yeah. Smooth, That's right. Yeah. 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 I could, all I could hear was this rubber man going on. <laughs> Look at this, gorgeous. Look at the light coming through this strip of wood here. Wonderful morning. And a good meeting with Sandy. It's gone well. Tea from the bivvy. You what, Sandy? Breakfast from the bivvy. Yeah, man.
yeah, always in my heart. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. That's the way to spend the night. Look at this light. Look at that sunlight, people. That's the energy that feeds us. Did you have a good one night camp, Sonny? Mm. You did? Mm. Mm. Good rest? Yeah, bit of a slope. Yeah. Looking back at my pitch now, yeah. I can see the slope of it. I was um, yeah, only wrestling with that a little bit over the middle of the night. Oh, you were sliding a bit? Mm. You did sleep at the top end though, did you? I did, yeah. Yeah. So, that's us both decamped. Nice and Nice and clean, as we like it. So, uh, catch you up. Thanks for uh, coming along. The magical mist. Yeah. It is. Amazing, isn't it? it is. on the trail back to uh, Sandy's and back to making knives put them all in the cooker Sandy yeah we're heat treating today uh, heat treating today yeah I've worked out the recipe to give me a the heat treat recipe that seems to work well with the old one ball steel yeah see that we got a bit carried away with the excitement of being in power. So to make things up to you, we are... There's the famous dog, Elsie. So that metal block that you've put in there, you yeah, said there's a reason for it? Yeah, that's uh, to pre-warm my oil before I quench. Ah. So you only stick it in there for a little short while? Oh, um, no, it'll be in there for a while. You wait, you wait and see. It'll be in there for a while. How many hours you put that in there for, Sandy? Oh, not not uh, only for only for a, a certain amount of time. Right. Okay. <laughs> this, ah, this, right. Yes, you it did. Goes, you it goes in for, for, for yeah. Um, it goes in for um, a certain amount of time. A, a good a good period. Yes. You, basically, what you got to do. Uh, yeah. Basically, what you, what you got to do is you got to fully austenize the steel. Yeah. Uh, basically, you got to melt all the carbides. Yeah. So it goes in there long enough. To Gets melt the, the core. To melt the, to, into the core. Yeah. And then to soak it so all the carbides melt because the analogy is like a, if, the analogy to use is ice cubes. Yeah. And, and boiling water. Okay. Okay. Um, boiling water is is the water being austenized. Yeah. So to speak. If you drop an ice cube into boiling water, yeah. the ice cube doesn't instantaneously melt. No, it doesn't, no. So that's what we've got to do to the carbides. We've got to it time to melt yeah, yeah. Into, into the sort of solution of the Good analogy. steel. Good analogy. And when that's done, then we then bring them out yeah. and we shock the steel. When that's done, that takes X amount of time, yeah. <laughs> then we take it out. <laughs> yeah. uh, and my, my, my kiln is now ramping up. And it goes up to uh, around about 600 centigrade and then it will hover at 600 yeah. and, and, and so that's a preheat yeah. and it will climb up again slowly to my austenizing temperature yeah. which is around about 800 centigrade and then it will right. just, just prior to that it will stop again and how it long will it take to cool down? 
Oh, the, the kiln. Oh, the that'd, kiln. Be, that'd be hot tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, it'll be cool enough to do the, se the second temper cycle in. Yeah. Uh, by midday today, I hope. Yeah. The first temper cycle we'll do in this oven here. Yeah. So we'll be quenching in there. Quenching <coughs> in there. Yeah. That's, that's better than the uh, old quench oil. Yeah. Um, An old ammo box. Yeah. Yeah. Works well. Does, does the job. Intended purpose. Yeah. Uh, the blades will go into there. Yeah. For their temper cycle. Yeah. There you go. Part of the, part of the process. Many layers. Yeah. We've got about an hour. Uh, three quarters of an hour, an hour before yeah. they come out of the kiln. Yeah, the kiln's got to go up, you see. Yeah. So currently the kiln's at 54 degrees centigrade now. Yeah. And climbing 56. Many now, it's just like dimensions, Sandy. Yeah, yeah. You know? It is, yeah. Uh, you see an end product, but really there are dimensions to it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. Uh, worlds within worlds. That's what it is. I've had to. I've had to. I've, I've, built, I've built many knives over many years now, and so. I, I, I know. I have a feel for it, you know. Yeah. You, you develop an empathy, a feel yeah, for, yeah. for what's happening with the steel. Yeah. And in the early days, I didn't have that. Yeah, sure. And, and that just comes through trial and error, constant and, repetition, and constant repetition. Yeah. You, know, you, do, you do develop a feel. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the only way I can describe. A it. sight. Yeah. Have you heard of that? Believe me. This just preheats the oil. Right, can we stand over there, Mark? I'm going to close this door in a minute yeah. to stop any drafts. You see, as I move that, that's the other out of the, out there, see, it's smoking. Yeah. That's so hot still. That's enough to heat all that oil. It just brings it up a bit. Yeah. It doesn't need to be brought up too much. Yeah. Special kind of oil, Sandy, or yeah, just regular? Yeah, quench oil. Right. Throw one, tall steel. Still smoking. So it just wouldn't be the same if it was just well, you can use vegetable regular oil. oil. Yeah. Oh, vegetable oil you can. You can use can. vegetable oil. Right. And it'll give you, uh, it'll give you uh, good results too. And there are probably knife makers out there that do use it. Yeah, I use vegetable oil for a long time. Ah. Well, that's done enough there. Drop me out of the way, Sandy. No, you're okay there. Now, what I'm trying to do is drop that temperature of that blade down as quick as I can. Yeah. And that shocks the steel. Yeah. Still smoking, see? Yeah. You see, these methods are. How long have they been going on for? Centuries. Oh, centuries. Yeah. Thousands of years even. Yeah. yeah. But, but how they found out about it, I'll never know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, why do that and then do that? <laughs> yeah. That's a straight as well. Yeah. So that goes on to... That goes on to... More love, more effort, more energy. It is definitely wrong, right? Yeah. Yeah. All energy translated into an end product. Yeah, it is. Thought, intent, I would say, Sandy. You're definitely intent. Yeah. Yeah. Movements of intent, mate. <laughs> You've got to coerce. Yeah. The materials into the shape you want them. Absolutely. So, 
this is the finished article now. Absolutely just wonderful. Just needs to be stropped. Uh, what is stropping or stropped? That's what strop is where you uh, you finally hone the edge with a with a lever and abrasive. Right, I see. And it takes it to a razor razor edge. Why? Wow. wow, look at that, folks! What an amazing piece of work. I've been here to watch it, feel it, observe, and I can truly say that that is the result of love, passion, effort, intent, hard work. Yeah. And uh, a willingness to deliver the best. Well, it's been amazing Watch, oh. watching watching this process in this studio. But it is a studio, really, Mark. Yeah, it? it's a. Oh, I called it a studio. Yeah, some people would call it a workshop, but I called it a studio because uh, yeah, you're creating a piece of art as well as a functional yeah. tool. It's it got, truly is. It's got to uh, close this window. All right, so uh, I'm gonna move now. And call it a day there for now. All right, peace. There's the view. That's what I'm seeing now. Okay. So I'm going to uh, just take it out into the field. I can look left now. So I'm now flying. I can see along the thing there. So I'm going to start recording. Oh, that's a picture. Come on, that one. That one there. So here we go. Mark, ready? Ready for the off? Climb in. I'm going to climb. Let's fly along the ridgeway first, shall we?